Hey everyone, Amelia Roberts here, also known as the Copilot Queen. And I am here, of course, with some more information on Copilot and its capabilities within another Microsoft tool. If you've been using Copilot Studio for a while and you've been trying to incorporate it into the agents you are creating, then you may have seen some issues with connecting to SharePoint as a knowledge source. Microsoft to the rescue. They have created something called SharePoint Agents and SharePoint Agents are a customized virtual assistant that you can put right in a SharePoint site. There are a lot of different reasons that you would may want to do this instead of creating an entire custom virtual agent within Copilot Studio. SharePoint is very easy to use with this new agent feature. If you have the right licensing, meaning that if you have a Copilot license, then you're able to create these SharePoint agents for free. Also, if you are not a Copilot license holder, you can still utilize these different agents in these SharePoint sites, especially if you have that pay as you go meter connected to your Copilot license. You do have the ability to customize these agents to an extent. The Copilot Studio add on feature is not quite ready to go yet, but it should be there any day. So let's head over to my laptop and check out how do we incorporate these into our SharePoint site. Here we are on Allison's awesome test group site. She used this to do some things for SharePoint week here at Pragmatic Works. And I took a look at it. I think it's pretty good, but I could definitely use an agent. Let's go ahead and add one. To add a SharePoint agent to the site, I'm gonna go up to new in the top left-hand corner. I'm gonna drop this down and you're gonna see agent, new. Go ahead and click on that. Once you do that, it's going to say your agent is ready. Yes, it is that fast that you can have a custom copilot for your SharePoint site right away. Before I hit open agent, I'm going to go to edit and show you around this a little bit. I am going to name this bot Allie, a little short for Allison there. I can also change the picture if I want. I'm fine with the AA that's showing up there that works. Still on brand with our site. It gives us a little description that we can change within here. I'm gonna leave that for now. Down in the bottom left-hand corner of here, you will see Add Advanced Customization in Copilot Studio. If you click on it, it's going to tell you that it's not quite here yet, it's coming soon. So keep your eyes peeled for when that launches. I'm gonna go ahead and save this. I am going to close out of this and you're going to see your bot appear on the screen over here on the right hand side. It's going to say summarize any key highlights, create an FAQ based on resources. How can I use these resources? What I can actually do is I can ask Allie anything about the information that is in this SharePoint site. I know there's information in here about a Power BI bootcamp, which is something that here at Pragmatic Works we offer, so I am going to ask about it. What happens on each day of the Power BI Bootcamp? Let's see if it can answer our question. It is pulling day one, day two, day three, day four, and it is telling me everything about the bootcamp, which is awesome. I know it's pulling this information somewhere on here, because I know in these documents, if I go to general, there is a Power BI Bootcamp file in here with information in it, which is great to have. I can even ask it about specifically about this AdventureWorks data or this Module 4E Excel file that's in here. Copilot does tend to struggle with Excel files and pulling information from it. Let's go ahead and test it and see what happens just to make sure. Tell me about the AdventureWorks data set. It is pulling all sorts of information here for us, which it's giving me a reference down here to source data, probably pulling that from this Excel file over here. I know source data is one of the tables that you pull in from AdventureWorks. It is pulling this information right away. We also have three references up here. If you drop this down, you can see the PDFs that it pulled this information from. 
which sometimes you're looking through your SharePoint site and you're like, I know I've seen this somewhere. Where is it? So it's really good that it gives those references as well. There are a few other things in here I want to show you. One of them is the best part of it. I can hit these little ellipses on Alley up here. And I have a few different options within here. One of those is copy link 14. Now you're probably wondering, why would I want to just share this out on Teams? What it actually does, and I'm gonna check my settings really quick. People on Pragmatic Works, that works for me. Oh, it looks like it already copied for me. So that's good. And it says, paste this link in a Teams group chat to add this agent. I can actually add this SharePoint agent right into a chat if I wanted to. Let's go ahead and let's do that. Let me bring up my Teams really quick. Here I am in Teams with a couple of my coworkers and I wanna add this SharePoint agent to our chat. So I'm going to go ahead and I am going to paste that link that I was provided in. It's called Alley Agent. And then you will see this little box appear. It almost looks like an adaptive card right there in the chat. If I send this through, once it gets posted within here, I can add this agent to this chat. So I'm gonna add this to the chat. Now, Alley is part of our chat. I can refer to Allie throughout the conversation if I want to. You can see the agent is typing because it's about to send the greeting through. And I can say summarize any key highlights. I can type that in to Allie if I want to. And Allie is going to type back to me. All I have to do is reference Allie in a prompt. And then it will know that I am talking to it and not to other people in the group, but you do have to reference the bot in order for it to jump into the conversation. There it is telling me about the different information that is in this SharePoint site, which is really cool. I love this feature of SharePoint agents because I see personally a lot of people trying to use SharePoint with Copilot Studio. It can sometimes be like jumping through hoops of fire. Everything they need is in that SharePoint site. So what would be extremely beneficial is if they had an agent that was just for that SharePoint site. A lot of people also like to put their custom agents from Copilot Studio into Teams for their internal employees. Now you can do that too, and it's connected directly to the SharePoint and you can use it seamlessly. It's almost the exact same thing as using Copilot Studio, but it is tailored to just the information within a SharePoint site. Permissions will still apply when it comes to the SharePoint site and the use of the agent. Same with licensure. So just make sure you check with your global admin and your Microsoft rep to make sure you are good to go before you start using it. But it is that easy, my friends. If you want to learn more about Copilot or Copilot Studio, come to Pragmatic Works. Check out our boot camps. We do a Copilot boot camp. I would love to see you there, and I hope to see you in the next video.